hello everyone welcome back to my channel so in today's video i am doing a builder gel overlay on my client's natural nails and it's this floral look with a matte kind of burgundy color with some cuticle accent like a cuticle cuff this is my client's previous set when it was freshly done it was a very very cute i just wanted to show you guys how pretty this set was it's so sparkly so yeah i'm sorry i don't have a video over that but it's real cute so um, my client's nails were i believe four weeks old and you can see she has no lifting i was using the um, rubber base um, from the gel bottle ink as a base coat for my client's nails so there was no lifting i already removed the crystals obviously before i um, started recording but um she had all her crystals still intact um so i just popped all those off um with this kind of heavy duty tool i use in some videos i had to actually use a kind of old bit um on the e-file and kind of remove some of the stones kind of pop them off with the e-file i use old bits for that so i don't mess up my new ones because the metal and crystal um can kind of mess up a good bit so i use an old one or one i don't really like much so you can see i'm going in with the skiver bit from atwood industries holding it as flush to the nail as possible so not to cause a ring of fire and removing the cuticle from the nail plate after I do that, I'm going to go in with the gel bottle um, clear rubber base coat and I'm going to cleanse the nail with acetone and then go in and apply the rubber base coat, making sure I focus on um, our new growth or where the natural nail is. And um, you can get it on the entirety of the nail on our, you know, grown out enhancement. It doesn't hurt, but also you don't really want to waste the product. So you see, I don't really go to like the tip. I'm just focusing on the um, natural nail. So I'm using, I didn't get a shot of it and I'm sorry. This is cosmetic pink from um, Light Elegance that I, you see me use a lot of times. So um, I'll try to leave the link below, but again, it's cosmetic pink and I'm using a brush that I got from Michael's or Hobby Lobby and I am applying a slip layer. Now this was a little different. You see me apply the slip layer to four of her nails at a time. So I applied the slip layer and I did not cure it. And now I'm going in with a bigger bead on each nail and doing the fill. And I'm just focusing the product on the back of the nail and fading it out. These nails are so short, I don't have to go in and rebalance uh, the apex and all that stuff. I'm just applying product towards the back and fading it down. And um, whatever we need to modify from that structure and um, finish filing, we'll do that then. These are really short. It doesn't take a lot. So I shaped them off camera. And as you can see, it's uh, more of like a rounded square shape. It's probably my favorite shape to do, especially when nails are this, this short, as opposed to just a traditional square. It's a little nicer to me. It's just my opinion, and my client liked it as well. So I just um, did the shape with a hand file off camera, and now I'm going in with the cross-cut bit from Atwood Industries, and I'm finished filing the surface of the nail. As you can see, the nail is not all lumpy and bumpy. Um, Builder Gel is really good for... Um, self-leveling even though the cosmetic pink from light elegance doesn't self-level as much as others we still get a pretty smooth finish um after i finish file i will be going in with the design i'll using i'll be using those three products at different stages in the process i'm using this color of uh, the one step color from finger paints and these floral foils from daily charm and don't forget to use code tabitha for 10 percent off and i'm using this one right here you can see the pattern a little better this is what my client picked and i'm using the stay put jelly jewelry gel in a tube and the seal it up gel pen all from daily charm and you can use code tabitha for 10 percent off all of those items as well and all um this this um foil gel sorry the foil gel is from daily charm as well everything from daily charm you can use code tabitha to get a discount this is um like I said, a gel um, foil transfer glue. 
So you apply it instead of letting it air dry like traditional, the white foil glue that goes from white to clear, like the bluish white to clear, you cure this in the LED or UV light. And um, when you put it in the light, I think it's 60 seconds LED, I like to let it air dry also like at least another 60 seconds. And I find that works best for me um, when getting a really good transfer. So I went ahead and applied the foil um, gel first, the transfer gel first. That way, while I'm applying the um, polish, it can be going ahead and air dry. So again, I applied it, cured it in the light for the recommended time. Once it came out the light, I'm going in with the gel polish and just kind of letting that air dry and sit. I haven't applied the foil yet. So, and you can see I'm just, this is just polishing. I really love this color, this brand of polish, um, the One Step from Finger Paints. You can actually get those from Sally's and they're so good. I have a few of them and I like them. So it's, their black is really good as well. So if you're looking for something that you can get locally, the One Step Gel Polish from Finger Paints, they're great. So this is just me polishing. And I go in, I apply two coats of this color. On the first coat, you can see I'm not sealing the edge of the nail, so I don't bulk it out too much. And I'll only seal on the second coat. Okay, so after I applied both layers of the polish, cured, I'm ready to apply our foil. So you can see me, uh, it's always a struggle for me to find what part of the foil I'm putting where. This takes me, I probably do this for about two minutes. I'll just show you a clip and this is sped up, if you can believe it, and edited. But I am just trying to figure it out. So I advise, you know, you do the same, you don't want them. You want to make sure you get the pattern you want, what your client wants. Sometimes they want, oh, I want more of the pink flower or whatever the design is, you know. So I'm just trying to make sure I get, you know, a good amount of the pattern and the look that we're going for that my client requested. She wanted um, more of like the pink flowers and I think more spaced out. She didn't, she just didn't want a big flower in the middle of the nail. So I was trying to respect her wishes and not just do that. So you can see, um the pattern that we got and I'm doing the same thing on the other fingers now with the foil it's never going to be 100% perfect because you're putting a flat thing which is the foil on the cur on a curved nail it curves in all different ways so you're going to get some little edges that don't transfer well or uh, folds but the best thing to do is press it flat in the middle first that way your image in the center can be your best because that's where the eye is going to go to naturally and then smooth it towards the edges because that's where you're going to get more of your creasing but honestly you can't really tell much and i'm going in with that five in one strength and gel again from daily charm and I'm sealing um, the foil down. Now, my client changed her mind. This was originally just supposed to be matte. They're supposed to be just plain and matte. So I would have done this process a little bit differently because I end up adding gold leafing to it. I would have done that before I sealed it in with a five-in-one gel top coat. But she changed her mind after I applied the um matte top coat but it was fine we fixed it but i just want to show you guys how the process naturally went you're watching me actually work and this is a real client and she changed her mind so um if i was to do them just matte this is how i would do them apply the five in one um gel top coat because foil can chip real easily so we want to make sure it's sealed in with a good top coat with a thick top coat kind of encapsulated 
and then um, I would go in with my matte top coat. I wipe the tacky layer from the 5-in-1 off because I find that the matte top coat doesn't apply as nicely when that inhibition layer is on. Now, if you wanted to just leave these shiny also, instead of doing the matte top coat, I would do your regular top coat. So seal it in either way and then go in with your matte or shiny top coat. So that would have been the end of that if that's what she wanted. And now I tried to apply these um kind of cuticle metal cuffs that I had. We decided would be cute, but the angle, the thickness of it, it just did not work. So we kind of veered off from there. And I'm going in with more of the jewelry gel. And I'm just going to apply the caviar beads around the cuticle area. And this is just lining them up and making sure it looks even. That's really all this is. I'm just applying the beads till I get them to go around um, the cuticle far enough and then making sure they're in line and look nice. That's it. Okay, so after we apply um, the beads, we cure them in the light, and then I'm just going to seal them with the Seal It Up pin, again, from Daily Charm. This is going to make sure that the uh, beads don't get caught um, on hair and stuff like that easily, and then also protect the metal color. After I apply the Seal It Up, I cure it in the light, and then once it's done curing, I go in with the matte top coat, um, again from Daily Charm and I'm just going around the beads I'm not touching them because it'll make them frosty we want to leave them shiny and metallic looking so I'm going up to the beads but not on top of them so um, once I apply this matte top coat those nails will be done the beads are nice and sealed in and they're protected so after my client changed her mind she's like I want those shiny and I want to add a little something so I had the idea of doing gold leafing and so I'm using some gold leaf. I applied the 5-in-1 Strength in Gel basically to set the leafing into. And I'm just applying it haphazardly on the nail um, just to add a little accent. And our plan is to leave them shiny after this. So you can see I'm just using some tweezers and kind of moving that foil, breaking big chunks down into smaller pieces and applying it randomly. So once I finish applying the foil and get it where I want, I cure it in the light to set it. And then I'm going to go in with a five in one strength and gel again to seal in the foil because it can have texture. You wanna make sure it's embedded in the nail. Again, if we were to do this design from the beginning, I would have done all this before the five in one. I would have applied the foil, then the gold leaf, and then the strength and top coat. But again, you know, it happened. So because we've built up so many layers of the 5-in-1 Strength in Gel, I have to regain my shape because these are such short nails. We don't want them to look super thick and bulky. So I'm making sure I'm tapering down the sides and also the free edge and removing that dust and then that tacky layer from the 5-in-1 uh, Gel also. After that, we're going to go in with our shiny top coat. That's one I recommend. That's not the one I'm actually using. The, um, the Vetro Gold line is not what I'm using. Um, I'm trying a um, gel polish out right now, but use your favorite no wipe top coat, whatever gel top coat you like, and cure it um, accordingly. And that is our final look. So I hope you guys enjoyed this really short, cute gel overlay. Um, don't forget to thumbs up and uh, subscribe. I really appreciate you guys for watching. If you have any questions or anything you want to see, let me know down below. All right, you guys. Bye.